going on, folks? In my last video, I talked about programming an Akai MPK Mini for FL Studio so that you can use these different pads at the same time and record different sounds simultaneously. A lot of you guys seem to want to learn how to use the joysticks here and the knobs, so that's what this video is going to be about. Let's go. So just like last time, we're going to be plugging this thing straight into the computer. No USB splitters, no USB extenders. We're going to go straight in there. After we're plugged in, we're going to load up a fresh instance of FL Studio here, so close any other tabs out that might be trying to use the Akai and just open up a fresh instance of FL Studio. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in this options tab here and go to MIDI settings. We're gonna make sure that our MPK Mini 3 is popping up both in the output section and the input section. We're gonna make sure this little green power button is lit up here, and just make sure your screen here looks like mine. You can pause the video if you need to. We want these two on port zero, this set to 16, and just match this up exactly how I have it. If for some reason this isn't showing up with this green button, try a different cord or a different port. So the process for programming these knobs is fairly simple. Uh, any knob or dial in FL Studio, whether it's in the channel rack over here on the left or on the mixer, when you right click on it and you hit link to controller, and then you make sure this auto detect is checked, and you just start turning the knob that you want to control that dial in FL Studio, it will start controlling it. So we can see here we have the bottom left knob controlling the volume slider for insert six and say we want the panning to be controlled by the knob to the right of that. We're gonna right click on the panning knob, hit link to controller, and then start turning a different one. And this process is the same for the joystick as well. So let's bring a sound effect in here, and we want the pitch to be controlled by the joystick. We're gonna right click on the pitch knob, hit link to controller, and then just start playing with the joystick. And you can see that the pitch will change. So if you're interested in programming these pads so that you can play them all at the same time with different instruments, make sure you check out my last video. If you want a more in-depth global tutorial on how to use this whole thing and get it all set up with FL Studio without me trying to sell you guys something, I'm no snake oil salesman. Make sure you subscribe because the video is coming soon.